Good evening. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of an illness at the minute. I thought this week we could do a bit of a weekly vlog. It's like my first week in my new house, like properly settled, because I feel like I've been I've been all over the place. I've been here, there, and everywhere. So I feel like I haven't properly just like spent a nice week in my house, not going away. In fact, I'm just telling now because I'm actually going away this weekend and I'm gonna bring you with me. But it is Tuesday morning. I am starting this vlog a day late. If, by the way, if you don't know where I am, watch the video before this, it is my new house tour and I explain everything, how I just moved in and stuff. Who wants to see my outfit? Basically, I went to um, John Lewis last night, which is like, I don't think I've ever shopped in John Lewis. Well, actually, that's a lie. I got my Dyson Airwrap in John Lewis. Worst regret of my entire life. I don't know why the fuck I thought buying a Dyson Airwrap would be a good idea for me. And I know I raved about it to you all because I wanted to be that girl who was going to use a Dyson Airwrap after the shower. I have never once blow dried my hair after a shower. I did, I think I, when I got my Dyson Airwrap, I used it twice and I blow dried my hair after a shower. But apart from that, I'm way too late to hold my hand up there even though a Dyson Air Wrap is like 50 grams like it's not very heavy I still can't lift my arm up there for like long enough to dry my hair my hair like doesn't really dry very quickly maybe it's because it's so fucking damaged and stuff anyway back to John Lewis went to John Lewis last night because I was in Westfield the big shopping center and they got a big John Lewis there and I found these pajamas and I don't I cannot remember the last time I wore like pajamas because I I'm a naked sleeper through and through however I haven't figured out how to turn on the heating in this house yet I haven't like started paying any bills I haven't started paying an electricity water or heat I don't know what, do you pay heat bills I don't know what that bill is I haven't started doing that because I don't know how to do it frankly and I don't really want to fight I know how to do it so I haven't turned my heating on yet and it's getting to be a bit cold it is it's mid-october it is kind of freezing actually in my house so I've had to start wearing pajamas in bed and I find these ones are these little like blue and white stripy ones and i also this is a new dressing gown it's not that new i got it from as a, it was actually a gift i got it from soho home i just really i'm enjoying like how these two are looking together like the the, the blue and white striped pajamas and this dressing gown oh my god you can see my back profile don't look at that oh and then i also have like these like hotel slippers on i basically just feel like i'm at a hotel right now Yesterday I posted the video, which is my most recent video on my channel, where I like showed you my house and I was kind of like telling you guys how I didn't really know what to do about Phil because he like longs to go outside, like he sits at the back door all day crying his eyes out like wanting to go out but I'm just so worried about like losing him or someone stealing him or like him getting ran over god forbid so like I, I'm just really like hesitant to let him out and a lot of people suggested like putting him on a lead and walking him around the garden and funnily enough I actually do have a lead and a harness from ages ago and I tried to walk him but it was like I didn't have a garden before so I was just walking him on the main road and I realized it was kind of risky because if a dog came along which many of them do because they're often walked on the main road then he would have got savaged alive so I gave up on that whole walking front but I do still have the lead so we're gonna try walking around the garden this morning and see how he likes it we need to get you fat cat into this little harness how are we gonna manage that hmm okay i don't know if this harness is fitting him because it well it used to fit him but he has gotten a little bit chunky i'm not gonna lie but he can't seem really to stand up so let's see come on let's go outside come on okay this isn't exactly what i had in mind oh my god we did it we did it this is the best thing i've ever seen in my entire life Go explore, baby boy. The world is your oyster. Okay, I did start to think I was actually strangling him with that harness, so I took him off the hat harness, and now I'm just gonna keep a really close eye on him. And if he runs away, oh no, Phil, don't eat grass. My cat at home used to always eat grass to make her throw up. It's kind of sad when you think about it. I hope she was doing okay. Also, this olive tree has got a really random story. I was like sitting in my, my, my dressing room as I always am, sitting in my dressing room, sitting in my dressing room on the sofa, and someone knocks on the door, and I was like, not expecting anyone, but I went and answered anyway, and he was like, I'm just selling olive trees out of my van if you would like to buy one. And I was like, I don't love olive trees. This is really random. How, how did you know I was on the market for an olive tree? He's like, I'm doing a huge discounted price. And I was like, mm, well, this is kind of perfect. And then he led me to the back of his van. But you know, you know now I'm saying it out loud, it's like a little bit suspicious, but he sold me a beautiful olive tree at a great discounted price. And he just carried it in my garden. That was, that was it. No, do not run away from me, you anchor. Come on. It's me. It's me, Mario. Philly, come on. Oh my god, no, don't you dare. Please don't do this to me. I let you out because I trusted you. Phil. Well, that has to be a piss tick. Okay, this is my outfit for recording my podcast. I'm wearing this Brandy Melville jumper and these fake jeans that I got at a, um, a portobello market. I basically hate wearing makeup during the day. I hate it so much. Like I feel like I touch my face and it gets all dirty and I just don't like wearing makeup. But I also sometimes look a bit rough during the day. Like I love putting on makeup at night and getting ready to go out in the evening. Like I do love that. But just during the day, I just don't like wearing makeup. But I found these glasses in Paris when I was in Paris. I feel like I've been seeing them everywhere recently. They're just like big, huge sunglasses. And 
they cover your face so much. I feel like you can't even like see me right now. Maybe you can. I just like it's quite dark in here and these sunglasses. That is my new life hack. I'm gonna wear these every single day when I can't be bothered to wear makeup. Okay, I'm in the car and that means I'm gonna show you what I'm listening to at the minute. At the minute, the only person I seem to be able to listen to is Rosalia. <laughs> So I have come to the Spotify studios today to record my podcast. Sometimes I do it from home and sometimes I do it in the studio. I kind of like doing it in the studio because it feels like I don't know. I just like it. It's like really bougie studios and they've got like a mini fridge and they've got loads of drinks in it and you can take them all for free. So sometimes I like coming here for that. But I will give you like a, I don't know. I think, yeah, I'm allowed to film in here. I'll show you like what the kind of setup is in here. No, this is my first time vlogging. Say hi. This is Tom and Ray. They are the brains behind the podcast. Oh, and this is the fridge I was talking about. This is, and you can take them all for free. So I always take this one, it's my favorite. So this is the room that I record my podcast in. I've got me up on the board, that's fun. And then we're actually testing out filming it because I am thinking of having some guests on. I still wanna keep it like really casual. If you've never listened to my podcast, it's called Inner Monologue on Spotify, so make sure you check it out. But it is just very like casual chit chatting. So basically I record in here and then my producer is in another room near me. I don't know, he just basically like monitors the sound and stuff to make sure it all sounds okay. But he is listening to me right now and probably laughing at me. So I'm gonna go record my podcast today. I'm gonna to be talking about fillers and surgery and all that kind of jazz. I will update you when I finish the podcast. But I've got here my iced coffee and my blue drink, whatever this is in this, I still don't know, but it tastes delicious. I just like having my two little beverages for my recording. Today we're going to be discussing cosmetic surgery. I'm going to be telling you about my nightmare designer fitting. I'm going to be telling you the reasons why I got lip filler and how I might cancel my Botox appointment. I'm currently recovering from a coldy flu thing. I, I honestly feel like death still. And it's like making my nose like blocked and like I swear like you could probably hear my nose like bubbling with snot in that podcast. So I'm really really sorry if you hear that. But I, I am coming out the other end. Like the first few days I had it I was like in bed shaking. Like I, I, I had to test myself about six times for COVID because I was convinced I had COVID but I didn't. Oh, I just had a cold and I'm just being a bit dramatic. Also, how cute is this? My producer Ray got me a birthday present. So in my podcast, I said how I just moved house and I don't have a sieve or tongs and I will never buy myself a sieve or tongs because I don't know why. I just have this like mental block from any time I go into a shop, I will never remember to buy myself a sieve or tongs. And he got me tongs and a sieve. How nice is that? I am over the moon. I love presents where like you like, it's something you actually need. I they're just fantastic. Buzzing with that. Anyway, let's go home and get ready because I have an event to go to tonight. I'm at a dinner right now. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm also peeing, so this is a bit of peeing ASMR. But I'm at a dinner right now and I feel like I can't really vlog because it's like a members club. This is my boyfriend. Uh oh. She's so. Oh, she's so back. What is it? It's all, it's all Hugo Boss. I think you look gorgeous. Wait, show my hair, show my hair. Oh yeah, very cute. I didn't do it myself. Who did it? I drank a trunk of, of wine. Are you? <gasps> you wine drunk? Yes, I'm drinking wine. No, I'm dinner. Oh, you drunk it? Uh, Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mia. Yeah. Show you right. Oh, well, I'm matching with four other boys. So oh, that's great, fun. fantastic. This little t-shirt dress. Shout out to one of the trousers. So oh, cute, cute. Good. Um, boots, boots, Love these, boots. these boots are so good. These boots are so good. Thanks. Oh, wow. I don't feel very well, guys. It is the next day. I was, I didn't even get that drunk last night. I'm not even hungover. Like, I don't feel sick. I've not got a sore head or anything. I think my hangovers are just, they come in the form of I don't want to do anything. I literally have not gotten off this sofa all day. I feel like I'm doing like a how long can I stay on my sofa challenge. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't done anything. I have, however, ordered about three deliveries to the sofa. Every time I'm a bit hungover, I always get boost. It's so good. If you have a boost near you, you should definitely get boost when you're hungover. It's so yum. I love a smoothie when I'm hungover. And as much as I am enjoying my time in the sofa, it is time to get up because I have another event tonight. Last night I went to the Hugo Boss event and it was just like a dinner. And tonight I have a Mew Mew event. And I'm so excited because you know me. I love Mew Mew so much. It's my favorite designer in the entire world. I need to do my hair and my makeup. So I will come back when that's done and then we can get changed together. And 
done. I'm feeling a little bit better. Actually, I haven't even finished my hair yet. I'm gonna put some fun clips in, I think. Okay, so this is the dress that I'm wearing. It's like a sheer dress with a fun little cute diamond collar. I really, really am loving like see-through dresses at the minute, so I'm really excited to be wearing this. And then for underneath, they've given me just like a plain black bra, a belt. Oh my God, these pants are so cute. I actually bought these pants in like the pinky nude color because I think they're just the cutest thing ever. I like to have, if you wear something low-waisted, to have like the little like satin mimi above, I think it's so cute. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these little pointed toe heels, like the little like kitten heels are really cute. <gasps> oh my God, this bag. Oh my god. Wait, I don't even know if you can like properly see it, like the color it is. <gasps> oh my god. I want to keep this bag. This is the really like upsetting thing. It was like, obviously I'm just wearing this for tonight and then I have to give it back. I do not want to give back this bag. <gasps> I have never seen this bag before. This is like my dream bag. Oh, okay. This is the dress. I like I can't properly show you. It's really, really cute. However, these little shoes that they sent me do not fit my feet. The two shoes I have from Mimi like already are these little loafers and these boots. All right, so I've decided to go with these little boots because I think I'm gonna wear this like a bikery jacket I have from Mimi. So for jackets, these are the two options. I feel like obviously this goes better, but I do love this jacket and I haven't worn it in a while. In fact, you know what? I'm not even gonna try on the blue. I just feel like this black works. It works well with like the leather boots as well. Kind of like a bit biker chicky, but I think it's cute. <laughs> Oh my god, Mia! It is not the next day. <clears throat> I'm still kind of getting over this cold, to be honest. Like last night, I came home from that event. Well, I, I actually got past it with Lewis after. I got home at like 9 p.m. and just like blacked out for 14 hours. I had so much sleep and I do feel a lot better today. I feel very well rested. Before I start doing the things I have to do today, I wanted to show you basically. In my last video, it was obviously my house tour and I showed like there was wood in my spare bedroom and there's wood in my bathroom as well, like my ensuite. And I didn't really like it, but everyone's told me to keep it. They said it's like really nice, like Scandi vibes, this wood here. So I am gonna keep it in my spare room because it's like, it's not that offensive, but it kind of goes with the vibe of the spare room. Like I've got like a wooden bed and stuff. I don't know, I feel like it, it suits it in there. But in my ensuite, like my whole bedroom, as you can see, is like just all white. So I just thought the wood like didn't really go with the room. So I decided to paint it. And to be honest, I'm so happy I did. Ignore that middle light, it does need fixed. I think it just makes the bathroom look a lot like brighter. So today I have a few things to do. First of all, I'm gonna go to a pet shop and get a new harness for Phil because obviously that harness the other day like didn't really work and, and like letting him roam around the garden off the lead like did not work out very well. So I'm gonna go get him another lead because he will not stop meowing. I mean, he's not meowing now, like that's just a coincidence, but like genuinely all day, all night, just like wailing, crying. And like he was not like that in my last flat. So I'm like, either he's trying to tell me something or he just wants to go outside. And I think it is, he just wants to go outside because he literally stares longingly at the door all day, wailing. You'd think I fucking abuse him or something. And then I'm also gonna get some ribbon because I'm gonna wear ribbon in my hair tonight. I've got quite a lot on tonight. I've got dinner and then I'm going to see a play and then I'm going to a Prada party. Also, lol, I'm going with my ex. I'm going, so basically, I, me and my ex broke up. I don't know if I've like, really spoken about that on my YouTube. No, I definitely haven't spoken about that on YouTube because I only ever like speak about things like that on my podcast. I did have a boyfriend for about six months and then we broke up, like, I wanna say, three days for my birthday. But we ended on like quite good terms. He was like, oh Olivia, I'm just gonna give you your birthday presents anyway. Like what the fuck else am I gonna do with them? Like, cause they're not very like refundable presents. And then one of the presents was tickets to go see Hamilton because he knows I love Hamilton. I mean, you know I love Hamilton. It's my favorite fucking thing in the world. I've gone to see it like three times now and this is the fourth time. So excited, cannot wait. That's tonight and we're gonna go for dinner before. So it should be fun. I will bring you with me, but let's go do our little errands now. Okay, I've just gone to the pet shop. Time for a haul. This is his new harness. Cute. Love the colour. I feel like it will really bring out his eyes. I got this little toy that you can fill up with catnip. If you don't know what catnip is, it's this like, it's basically weed for cats. It looks like weed and it makes them act like they're like high. Well, not high on weed because they go fucking crazy, but they love it. And I'm going to put the catnip in this little duck. How cute. And then finally, I just got him some nice treats just to try out. Some tuna and crab slice treats. I'm actually considering getting Phil a 
brother. Basically, I couldn't decide for ages if I wanted another car. I was I was toying with the idea. Um, and then like we moved into my new flat and it's like a lot bigger than before and he is crying a lot and I just feel like he might be a little bit lonely because also like I do leave like during the day a lot of the time like if I've got things to do like I'm out all day and I just always wonder what he does on his own like I'm sure he just sleeps he is just a cat but my, my heart just breaks for him so I was toying with the idea of getting another cat I couldn't decide and then I texted like the person I got him off and just like said by any chance has your cat had any more kittens and she was like so funny that you say this now because our cat has just had her last set of kittens that we're ever gonna do and she gave birth like three weeks ago i was like ah, if that's not a sign i don't know what it is it would be so nice if i was to get another cat if it could be his blood brother also how cute is this my papa for my birthday got me a porsche flask and i keep it in my car now <laughs> I haven't used it yet, but I just keep it there. Because the thing is, I don't really drink hot drinks, but I'm going to start, I mean, it's getting cold, so I'm going to have to start drinking hot drinks. And then when I do, I've got my Porsche flask. Let's go. Walk to the arts and crafts store. Woo! Great success, guys. I got black ribbon, and then I've got white ribbon. Just for, you know, it's always good to have ribbon. I'm really enjoying ribbon and hair, like a little ribbon bow and ponytails and stuff, and like incorporate it into plaits. I think that's really nice. And I also got myself a little iced americano because i need all the help today with my energy i don't know what's happening because i did sleep for 14 hours so you'd think i've been more well rested than ever but apparently not plan is now to just go home i need to tidy my house because i'm going to belfast tomorrow it's my brother's birthday and i'm going home because he's having a bit of a house party for it you may be wondering olivia it is a bit weird for you to be going on a full-on date with your ex-boyfriend tonight and you are correct in saying that it is all a bit weird but the thing is we ended on really really good terms and then it's just like Oh, it's so hard. I mean, I talked about it in my podcast. Like, how the fuck do people end relationships on good terms? Because then, like, how do you not just, like, always hang out with them? Because, like, they do become, like, your best friend because you spend so much time with them. So then, from going to, like, spending every day with them to, like, not seeing them at all, it's quite difficult. I'm struggling a bit to not see my ex-boyfriend. So we are going on a date tonight, but it's as friends, okay? Is it, though? It's never just as friends when it's your ex. Just too much history there. Not that much history, six months, but that's a lot of history for me because my longest relationship, I think that was my longest relationship there, that last one. Pat on the back for me. Decided no more relationships for me for like at least three years. So if you see me getting a bit cozy with anyone, spending a bit too much time with someone, you let me know. Also, Lewis got me this candle he gave it to me for my birthday yesterday. How fucking nice is that? I've still got the cover on. But how nice is that? It's so pretty and it smells so nice. So thank you, Lewis. Okay, now it's time to put that shit in here. Okay, that is most of it cleared. There are still some like random hair extensions there that I need to sort out. But I don't have time because I'm running late as per usual. But this is what it looks like inside. This is the makeup that I use every day, my toothbrush. This is like my skincare every day. This is the only stuff I use. And then I've got like that new face thing that's meant to give you cheekbones, but I always forget to use it so I don't actually know if it works. And then I've got my body moisturizer and my face masks. And then in here is just like stuff I don't reach for as often, like extra bits of my skincare and then extra makeup that I don't really use every single day. And that is it. Now it is time to get ready. I'm ready. Okay, let me give you a rundown of the outfits. I'm wearing this little Prada vest, my puffer, this skirt. I'm obsessed with this skirt so much. Now I didn't really know what to do for shoes, so they didn't give me shoes. So I've worn these loafers and then I wanted to tie in the white somehow. So I wore some like white cashmere socks, but they're actually not white, they're cream. And I don't know if it looks really stupid. I don't know what other shoes I would wear. I'm, I'm not going to wear heels because I'm going out for so long tonight. So I know I'll really regret it if I do wear heels. Okay, I'm going to go now for my dinner with my ex. I mean, I'll try bringing you along as much as I can. I'm actually going to my favourite restaurant. So I definitely want to show you the food that I get. So I'll show you as much as I can. Okay, love you. Bye. We have papaya salad, which is my favourite Thai dish in the world. And then what's this? Crispy chai. Crispy chai cake. Crispy chai cake. I've tried this all before, so I don't know why I'm acting like this is a taste test. Oh wow. Mm. Why is it so good? So good. How do they do it? It's a Thai version of bruschetta. Mm. Now time for my papaya salad. The best thing in the entire world. Cheers. Okay, so this next thing is like iced tea, but you put, you squeeze lime into it and the lime makes it change color and it's pretty magical. Oh, we also got some green, was it cur green curry? Green curry for, um, with chicken in it for Maine. Wow! Et voila. Et voila. 
Okay, I'm out of Hamilton. I, you can't video in Hamilton. They don't let you. I actually got shouted at for being on my phone. I wasn't even on my phone. I just literally replied to a text. But I got shouted at, so I didn't take any videos because that's definitely not like you're not allowed to take any videos of it. But it was amazing as usual. Incredible. No, I'm on my way to the Pratt party. It's like I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a rave. Someone told me yesterday it was a rave. I don't. I've never really been to a rave before, so that should be interesting. And I, I know that Jamie XX is playing, and I used to love a bit of Jamie XX. Oh, there is a man in the back of my video. <laughs> Okay, please ignore how I look. I I look like a little a little boy or something. I've got about four days worth of hair spray and gel in my hair. I'm gonna sort it out and update you on my night, but before I do that, I had to grab my camera because something really exciting has just happened. Look what just arrived from the post for me. Actimel with my name on it. And these are my two new flavors. I think I've tried this one before, but I haven't tried this one before. So I'm buzzing. I just love Actimel so much. It's so nice, such a great wee drink. And so does Phil apparently. Then I had a bit of an argument with my ex and ended up crying a little bit. So to cope, I went to the hairdressers and got my hair bleach and cried to my hairdresser and chatted her ear off for about five hours. And then I proceeded to actually go home. Um, I went home for my brother's birthday and I just wasn't in the mood to chat. Oh, how good does my fucking hair look? Wow, so fresh. And yeah, this is me arriving in Belfast. The last time I actually spoke to you was yesterday morning when I was still in London. By the way, my sister's just gonna join me because we're getting ready, I'll explain all in due course. So I went to get my hair done yesterday, uh, which is, it's all freshly done. It's a bit of a mess right now because I just woke up. And what, what time is it? Six o'clock, 6 p.m. I slept for a, go a ungodly amount of time. I think I must have really needed it. I mean, yesterday was a little bit emotionally tolling as you could probably see when I sat down in the hairdressers, I had been crying a little bit, my eyes were a little bit red, and I don't have hay fever. So I just felt a little bit exhausted and then I went straight after the hairdressers, got my flight here, and went straight to bed and slept until 6 p.m. today. Basically, the reason I've come home is because it's my brother's birthday. He's turning 23 and he's having a house party and like a barbecue kind of thing, so I'm come home for it. However, obviously, I've just woken up, I need to get ready because people are coming in like half an hour. I have only eaten a bowl of cereal and that's just never a good idea and I feel like I'm gonna have to be quite drunk to enjoy this because, I don't know, there's some sort of theme in this video where I'm just hanging around my exes because obviously my ex is gonna be here because my brother's still best friends with oh my ex. Oh my god, I forgot. Yeah. I completely forgot about it today and I was like, oh Matthew, who's coming today? And he was like, yeah, your ex. <laughs> so I feel like I'm gonna have to be quite drunk to be like not awkward. You can't drink on just a bowl of cereal. That is not enough to be drinking on. So my lovely dad, Graham, went and got me a boojum. Uh, first boojum since getting here. Really excited to take my first bite. Mm. It's just nothing that compares. Also, I love my hair so much. It's not like amazing in this lighting because the lighting is very yellow, but it's like really, really bleach blonde. Like, look at the look at the sides. Wow, I love it so much. It's so fun. I get it done at this place called Larry King now. It's really, really near my house, which is really, really handy. And it's just, I feel so fresh. Like, I actually like my hair. Is it's not like mean, it's not crazy short. It is a little bit short. But I actually don't mind having short hair when I've got this bleach blonde hair. I am really considering going brown. I won't fucking shut up about it. It's all I talk about is going dye my hair brown. However, I'm just not ready yet because once I dye my hair brown, there's no going back blonde. My hair would literally fall out of my head if I dyed it brown and then tried to re-bleach it blonde. Like that's just like not even an option. So I need to like come to terms with the fact that I'm not gonna be blonde again and then dye my hair brown. This is option number one. This is a with jean top, which I'm obsessed with at the minute. I think it's so cute. And then these are from Basic Pleasure Mode, which I think you can get in Urban Outfitters. And this is the second option. I think I'm just gonna go with this. It is quite summery, but cute. Top is from Peachy Den, skirt's from Peachy Den, jacket is from Brandy Melville. It's the birthday boy! <laughs> Happy birthday, 24 today! 23. Oh, oh no. Is <laughs> 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 anyone lighter? <laughs> this is Gus. This is Matthew's best friend's dog because Matthew's best friend couldn't make it, so the dog came instead. Hi, okay, I am back in London now. 
I last vlogged at my brother's birthday, which I apologize for because I was probably really, really drunk and really annoying. It's literally so standard. Like before I went downstairs, I was like, I feel so anxious. Like I'm only gonna have one drink and then I had one drink and then I was like, I'm feeling on top of the world. Let's bloody go. And then I got really, really drunk. And then I spent Sunday very hungover, just chilling with my family. I think I said to you guys about how I was really, really wanting a kitten. And the, and the little brother for Phil. I mean, I just love cats so much. I am a crazy cat lady, like through and through, and I'm proud to be one. And I want to grow my little family that I've got going on. Like me and Phil have something really special and I just think he would really love a little brother. He loves other animals. He's my child and I just want him to be happy. And I also want to be happy and I think kittens make me really, really happy. <laughs> also, you shouldn't just get a cat um, because kittens are cute because cats live till they're like 18 and you will have that cat for a long, long time. Like I will have Phil whenever I have my first children, if I have children. And I was actually gonna try get Phil's like actual blood brother. And I would have had to wait for like months to get Phil's actual blood brother which i was considering doing but i was i was getting a little bit impatient to be honest like it's winter it's a perfect time to get a cat because like you're at home constantly and i just got really impatient so i found um another ragdoll i found a little kitten i am about to leave my house to go pick up phil's new little brother and also another reason why i was like fuck it i'm just gonna get a kitten now is because i know someone that has two cats and they're blood brothers and they fight the fucking bit out and i was like that actually makes sense because like i fight with my sister so much whereas like i would never ever fight with like my my friend so maybe i want phil to be more like best friends with this new member of the family like maybe not brothers just because like i don't want them to fight like brothers today i went to the pet shop and i bought so much stuff for our new cat so also we need to decide on a name but we'll do that later because i actually do need to leave i'm gonna run um it's like a 45 minute drive I think to get the little kitty. I also got a blanket today and I've been making Phil lie on it so that it has his smell. Uh, so I'm gonna bring that with me because I think it's good. I, th I think that's good for introducing like animals to each other is if they can like smell each other first. Okay, wish me luck. So this is the little kitty, so cute. This was his sister who was so cute. Um, I didn't really want to get a girl though because I didn't want any funny business going on. So this is my kitten. The kids were obsessed with this one. They said like this kitten was their favorite and I kind of felt terrible like ripping their favorite kitten from them, but oh well, mine now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is um, the kitten's dad. So this is probably what he's gonna turn out like, which is so cute. Like, I'm obsessed with his markings and he was healthy and perfect. And yeah, if you're ever gonna get a cat, make sure you see, are able to see like the mum and dad just to make sure none of it's dodgy. And this is me and the little kitty on our way home. Okay, we've just got home. He's a little bit timid. I've never like introduced two cats before, I don't think. And I don't want it to be too intense for Phil because I think it'd be a bit grim of me to like bring him like directly into Phil's space and Phil spends most of the time downstairs. There he is in the corner. He's just having a little bit of an explore. I put out some litter. I've taken the lid off just so he can like see what it is. I've given him some food and some water. I'm now going to go out and like play with Phil a bit just so that Phil can smell him on my hands. And then eventually I'm going to keep doing this for a couple of hours and then I'm going to let them interact. I just want to do it gradually because I don't want anyone to be offended. Oh, he's so cute. Hello. Hi, I look like a little thumb because I'm hiding my hair because I have a hair transformation coming very soon to my channel and I don't want to ruin it just yet. I basically stopped filming after that clip because the introduction didn't go as smoothly as planned. It was actually the kitten that was like growling at Phil. Like Phil was really, really intrigued and like wanted to like be friends and stuff. But the kitten just like was not like, I think it was probably a very overwhelming thing in general. So like he just was not happy about it. And I got like really stressed out. I was like, oh my God, I've made like the biggest mistake ever. I shouldn't have got another kitten. Like this is gonna like ruin the whole dynamic. However, after about two days, so not very long, but it felt like a fucking year, they just became best friends they are literally like obsessed with each other remember i told you that phil wouldn't stop fucking meowing i haven't heard a fucking peep from phil it's been about three weeks since this clip i wanted to really give like a good like while before i could update you on how it was going i haven't heard a peep from phil they they just play with each other all day long they cuddle at night they sleep together they clean each other they've never fought like they are just best friend and it's the best thing in the world his name is Hector by the way I called him Hector he was initially called Robert I didn't really feel like he suited Robert I wanted to call him Robert after Robert Pattinson but yeah he didn't really suit it so I ended up naming him Hector I saw this footballer called Hector Bellerin he kept coming up my for you page for a while and I'm not a big fan of football and I don't know even what team he plays for but I just liked his name so I called the kitten Hector so yeah you'll meet Hector in my next vlog which will be coming very soon along with my hair transformation love ya Bye!